Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. On this channel, we do daily content talking about different emulators, ROMs, homebrew games, utilities, ports, you name it. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I hope you enjoy this one. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I have another awesome app for you guys and this one is called Switch View and we're going to be taking a look at this awesome Nintendo Switch UI for the PS Vita and this is going to be in honor of Mario Day or Nintendo Day, March 10, 2020. I'm not sure why I didn't upload this video on Tuesday morning. Um, here we are Wednesday and we have this one for you anyways let's take a look at the app here and it gives us the entire UI of the Nintendo switch and it works great beautiful interface as you can see the only thing though is you can't really use the touch screen much all you can do is scroll and the scrolling via touch screen is kinda awkward uh, I really don't like it and it's not that precise you can say but yeah the interface looks great we have the time <clears throat> on the upper right hand corner along with the Wi-Fi icon the battery percentage and the battery icon and we have all of our different options at the bottom and when you use your d-pad it sounds just like the Nintendo switch very nice and so let's go into our news and as you can see it takes us to the browser let's go back and if we open up the store it'll take us to the PSN store and there's an error there fortunately as always when you're hacking your system and things like that so we're gonna take a look at it uh, a little bit more after we install it so let's go ahead and get started on how to install this application first thing we're gonna do is go to our Vita shell let's open that baby up and you can either connect through FTP client or USB connection and for me I will go through the FTP client just because it's much easier for me to keep my stream going here uh, so you want to press start and choose your selection under select button either USB or FTP client go back and press select and now you're gonna be either on USB connection or FTP client okay let's open up FTP client here FileZilla and quick connect to my Vita here perfect we're ready to go and now go to the first link in the description and that will take you to Vita DB and here is a switch view UI version 0.1.2 2.13 megabytes and you scroll down and click on the download VPK very nice let's show in our folder there we go and if you have your USB drive open all you want to do is just copy that into the root of your USB drive and for us using FTP client I'm gonna go under my UXO folder and throw it into my VPK folder just like that and since I already have it I'm not gonna overwrite it and that's pretty much it it's very easy to install now we're gonna go back on our Vita and install the application let's disconnect from FTP client or USB connection by pressing O go into the UXO folder and find that VPK mine is gonna be under the VPK folder and it's gonna be called switchview.vpk perfect press X to open the file install the package by pressing yes or X continue to install very nice now we can go home and you should see a new application on your home screen called switch view let's open that up 
Now I did notice a problem with this application and if you have a corrupt file or a corrupt application on your Vita you want to uninstall it because you will come across an issue and I'll show you here real quick so here are all the different emulators games and things like that and then when I come across this game it crashes an error occurred error opening SFO file so press X to restart press O to enable or disable FTP and I noticed that pressing X doesn't do anything and pressing O really doesn't do much either it enables FTP but it's kind of a strange deal here and so what you want to do is just go back and close it out and restart switch view but if I don't get that file fixed it will continue to error out and crash the uh, application so let's go let's go this way and the analogs do not work unfortunately so only the d-pad okay here we go I think it's fire resistance it's a game I downloaded off the PKGJ app and there it is so as soon as I hit that app it's gonna crash there it is so let's investigate let's find that game here it is resistance burning skies I said fire resistance it's just resistance burning skies I was close so let's start that and there we go we have the file is corrupt so let's uninstall this game and the easiest quickest way to do that is hold the bubble and then tap on the three little buttons next to it and we'll have create folder delete information things like that let's delete that resistance burning skies this application and all related data including save data will be deleted hit OK and we should now be good on our switch view okay so let's scroll through and I remember it was next to uncharted there it is so it no longer crashes there we go now let's start up a game let's do let's do Street Fighter I've been playing this game a little bit and when you start a game like this it will close the application and you're really not using the switch UI app to play your games and things like that so it's a fun little application that allows you to mess around and have that nice feel of the Nintendo switch and I thought it's a great app to have and just to mess around with have some fun and if you go into settings I think this was the best way here to have these little apps working with the Vita so if you hit system settings it'll take you to your settings on the Vita and if you press back it will take you right back to the switch UI and I was hoping that everything would work as smoothly like that but it doesn't if we go into album it will open the photos application and you're gonna have to press home you know close that app and then go back into the UI and hopefully they'll fix that you know go to the controls and same thing cross control don't like that but whatever and let's try another one auto plug-in and same thing so anytime we're opening an application in the Nintendo switch UI it will just close it out and you can't really do much to select on the touch screen that I mentioned before you can only scroll through it's a lot quicker but eh, whatever and also if you press the L and R triggers or the buttons at the top if you press the R it will scroll through five different apps like that so one two three four five this one was kill them all yep five another five another five and that way if you have a lot of applications it's just the quickest way to get through them all here and you can have quite a few applications when you have a large SD card installed and that just helps 
a lot when you're trying to go through and selecting each game just because it's not really categorized uh, when using the switch view so just keep that in mind and that's basically it so thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it any questions comment down below and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you so much for watching take care and don't forget to like this video too it helps me out a lot and i will see you on the next one